Strauss & Company is pleased to present its third online auction of 2021, running from the 22nd to the 29th of March. What most people expect from Larry Scully are the geometric paintings with fine dendritic uh, patterning, um, often, often in bold colouring. These works, quite different to those, so harken back to the early part of his career in the 1950s and 1960s when he was a, a very exciting prospect on the South African art scene and represented South Africa at the Sao Paulo and Venice Biennales. These works have a very beautiful surface treatment and handling and each work is so uniquely individual that it, it takes a first-hand and close-up look to appreciate the quality and mastery of the surface. Born in Granada in 1922, Scully studied at the end of World War II at Witz and at the University of Pretoria where his contemporaries included the likes of Gordon Foster, Christa Kutsia and Cecil Scottness. Scully would no doubt have been very aware of the uh, powerful force that uh, Walter Battis exerted in the South African art um, arena and there's definitely an influence in terms of paint application and, and vision although the palette is significantly different to Battis' work. Scully drew inspiration from his environment, whether he was in a city or within a landscape or alongside the sea. He was particularly interested in light and form, and this is strongly apparent in his abstract works. So in abstract one, um, it's a particularly interesting painting. I think it's open to so many readings that it'll have multiple appeal, because for me, it almost feels like a Karoo night with the shimmering sky and uh, above, above the earth, this rugged mass of earth. But I also appreciate that it could be, the artist could have intended it in a wholly different way. Abstract in green is very much a, a study of light and the subject's a difficult thing to totally ascertain. Perhaps it calls to you of a forest or a cathedral or a landscape that's been turned on its side and looking at the surface of it with such a a rich and luscious application of wet on wet paint. I'm reminded of some of the early paintings of Gordon Foster with whom Scully studied with in the uh, post-war years. But uh, it's, it's, the, it's the rich application of paint and the lovely bisecting lines through it that give it so much ambiguity and excitement for me because from one day to the next it'll never read exactly the same way these abstract paintings have a really interesting point of realism in the departure. There's always a point to connect with them. They're not just purely the abstract forms. These ones are particular responses to environment and these unique uh, approaches are richly poetic and evocative. I think that's really why they appeal to me so strongly.